Kimberly Bag, your host for this today. And we are at episode, what number is it? It's 14. Isn't this great? We've been working hard. It's been a long journey. But you know what? It's been a fun journey. So today's workout is so rad. I've critiqued it specifically. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've critiqued it specifically. Like, it's going out with a banger. And you want to stay to the end because I've got some bonus moves. You know me and my bonus moves. So I'm going to put down this uh, weighted rope. I'm going to start with my Nike speed rope. And you know what? There's been a lot of views, and I am over the moon stoked. And thank you so much for all your support. But I'm going to ask one little thing for you. You want to support the content? Because I love bringing you the content. I love being part of the community. Hit that like button. All right. With that said, we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to get my timer so you don't have to worry about it. Right? Because I got you. So let's go do this. We're going to go four minutes. Or excuse me, no we're not. We're going to go five minutes. Get your speed rope ready. Timer's on. Four minutes, or five minutes, four rounds of skipping. Okay, so we've got the four and five. So we're going to warm up the ankles, the calves, those wrist joints. Remember, don't squeeze the rope handles too tight. You want to cramp up and have the hands just about at the waistline, okay? Elbows are slightly in. You're only moving a little bit through the forearms, and it's a flick of the wrist, okay? I'm doing a little bit of a boxer shuffle. You can either alternate it one, one, or one, two, one, two, or you can do straight up jump rope. Now, for, for my ladies out there, this move right here, basic jump rope, I'm gonna, if you find it hard, like, you almost wanna, like, go pee a little bit, that's okay, it's natural, right? So, for women out there that have had um, babies, or you're a little bit older, then the pelvic floor naturally starts to fall. It's a natural occurrence. So this move here makes it really difficult to hold the pelvic floor in an engaged position when you're jumping rope. So don't do jump rope like that. Alternate. Start to get the boxer shuffle going, okay? And once you got it, you can speed it up, okay? You can do the alternating leg kick, okay? You can do a little straddle, okay? So any of those little tips, take it with you. We're gonna have some fun, like we always do. We're almost there for our two minutes. And then we're gonna kick it into high gear with those high knees, up we go. Okay, now you wanna add a little bit more speed. Okay, getting into the cardio, getting into that aerobic system. Cause we wanna burn fat here, we don't waste time. We get this workout in, go about our day, Hang out with our families, hang out with friends, social distancing, always being respectful. Whew. Always the first round, always just nips you a little bit. So, why jumping rope? Some effects of jumping rope. You ready? It's a calorie burner, baby. <laughs> this, right here. 10 minutes of skipping at a good solid pace burns 160 calories. That is the same as an eight mile run. Just so that you know why skipping is so effective. That means clearing them up. We're three minutes in, friends. Two more minutes to go. And number one round is done. So my calves feel warm. I'm just gonna bring it back down a little bit. Catch up with my heart rate. Okay. Now we're gonna do in about 10 seconds, toe taps. So out front. Get the technique. Remember, you can always put your rope down and mimic the technique without swinging the rope. 
So just do the move. All right, toe taps. So start slow first. Okay, really point those toes. Whether you're wearing bare feet like me, silly girl. Or you got some shoes on. Okay, and then you want to speed it up. Notice, notice the tone coming in over the legs and in the gluteus. This also tones that lower abdomen, okay? So keep your abs engaged. Okay, people, bring it down. Now we're gonna hit up a little bit of doubles just to, you know, go out with a banger in this first round. Like I said, this workout's gonna be right up. So really engage the pelvic floor and the abdomen. Lift everything up and in. Come on, have some fun in there. Oops, so sugar. Keep going, keep going. Everybody counts high knees to butt kicks. Butt kicks to high knees. Five, four, three, two, one. Five seconds. High knees to butt kicks. Stay in butt kicks. Round one's done. Wasn't that fun? Oops. Have a seat. I'll be on the camera in a second. Huh? Oh, good. Remember to have some water. Towel to mop off. Oh, this ab workout that we got coming up soon. Good times. Okay. Oh, get your rope ready. Get the timer on and let's go. I'm gonna go kinky here, switching it up. Why not? Because I can, so I will. <laughs> Round two, jump into it. Warm up, one minute this time. <sighs> so, alternating leg kick, just to switch it up. Maybe you wanna do side to side, just to play with your, your technique, your agility, your balance. Okay, I'm gonna go with alternating. 30 more seconds to warm up. And then we're gonna go into butt kicks, uh, fat pace, fast pace. Target those hamstrings. So it's also with jump rope, it improves your bone density, especially in your knees and your ankles. And it also prevents knee and ankle injury. So put that on your little list of why you jump rope with me, and I jump rope with you. Okay, one minute in butt kicks. Let's speed it up. Fire up the hamstrings, firing up the glutes, and getting those sexy calves. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, sexy calves. Everyone wants a nice pair of calves. Good old gastrocnemius. Get that heart-shaped muscle. After this, twisting. We're going to go into some twisting. So you got 30 more seconds of butt kicks. No big deal. Remember, stay to the end of this workout because I've got some bonus moves. I'm not gonna tell you what they are. You gotta stay awake. I hope I can get through it. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> Take you into the garden later. It's looking lush. Yes, lush. Okay, keep going. Bring the heart rate down and twisting. So remember, speed it up when you got the technique, you got the form, you're okay with your breathing, and you are contracting the abdomen. Protect that lower back. So twist it. Remember, if it's difficult while we'll spinning the rope, do it without the rope first, okay? So that you can master the moves. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And it's good. Keep going. Five more seconds. Whoopsies. Medium. Come on. No more 
Okay, if I mess up, you don't have to mess up. If I stop, you don't have to stop. You keep going. Next round. One leggers, 30 seconds on each leg. It's gonna start in 10 seconds. Okay, get that heart rate going. Okay, left leg, bounce on your left leg. Right leg lift, focus to lift the knee, right at the hip extension. So right where your leg would extend out. You'll feel the tone immediately happening. You'll feel your ankles, your calves, and up the back of your hamstrings, and to the sides, to the inner thighs as well. Five more seconds. Okay, sometimes your foot cramps up when you put it back down, so skip it out for a second. And then right leg is jumping, left leg is lifted. 30 seconds. Remember to do it off the end of the hip, like an extension. Oh, I'm dripping now. Almost there. This is, this is challenging. You can feel it in front of my shin as well. Okay, Whew. takes a second to have the elevated leg come back to come back to life. There. Keep going. Okay. High knees quickly. About Twenty seconds. Another thing about skipping. It improves your balance, your ability to perform technique. Have a seat. Have a beautiful seat. Drink some water. Remember, on the body down. Be processing, replenishing glycogen, energy. Calm down for a second, but they're not thinking about it really resting. And then boom, you have instant energy. Back up. Keep going. Grab your speed rope. You want to do a weighted rope like myself? I'm going in for a weighted rope for two minutes. Okay? And then I'll take the next three minutes in for a speed rope. Notice that that's how I've sort of critiqued my one-minute warm-up is starting. And that's why I kind of critiqued it because I'm working the speed rope into my program, which you, which I've invited you to do too. I don't need to invite you, you can just do it. But having the weighted rope tones up and helps you build more muscle because you've got the weight. But you're doing cardio at the same time, so you're burning the fat around the muscles, so therefore you get the more. Um, Definition, vision, right? You get the definition. So, and you can see the tone without bulk. Right? So, so, throw the weighted rope into your mix. Give you a quarter pound, half a pound, full pound. Switch it up, right? You can speed it up now. You've warmed up for your one minute. I'm gonna go backwards actually. I like this row backwards. It's fun. I'm gonna go backwards, switch up my muscle groups, switch up my brain, like my body's moving. Try going backwards. It's pretty fun. Two minutes. Keep going. Grab this girl. Okay, now. So you're gonna swing. One, two, three. Jump, 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 jump. One, two, three. Oops. Keep going. One, two, three. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. Your rope 
productively in either hand, you can spin it apart. So just try it out. One, two, three, go.
So jump rope, it also helps, it helps you make those neurological adjustments as well. So there's a lot of fun facts about jumping rope. And those are just, throughout this workout, I'm just giving you five quick little tips on the benefits and the effects of jumping rope. So it's not just to burn fat, burn calories, get into an aerobic position, but also practices, you know, brain function, muscular function, techniques, supportive balance. Helps you be choreographed so that you could actually move your body in certain ways that maybe you don't do on a daily basis and challenge yourself, right? Okay, alternating leg kick. Speed, always speed. Kick your heel, right to your glute. Boom, boom, it's not like this, okay? Boom, put some effort in there. Round floor, gotta do it. Almost there, 10 seconds, more of this move. And then we're going into doubles. Yep, I said it. One doubles, okay. My arms, I'll loosen up a little. <laughs> and then tense, right. 30 seconds, doubles, go. Whip your rope. <laughs> Look at the wrist. Like you're jumping off of a spring. Leg 
slide your hands palm face down underneath your glutes, just on the, the side of the glutes. Okay, adjust your spine, legs come forward. I'm gonna do 50 leg lifts, lower abs. Don't let your legs come all the way down. So I'm hovering like six inches from the floor. And watch your neck, so just look slightly up and put your chin in. Thanks, Amber and Paula, uh, Paula for following. Thank you. Thanks, Sylvia and Molly for liking the video in the Crossroads Jump Group, this community. Thanks, Crossroads Jump Group, this community. Like she, she bam. Thank you for liking the post. Thank you. We're going in the high knees. And Let's Stephanie go. for oh. liking the post that you swam with Mike. Stephanie, I'm so much fun. Honey, camera. Oh, gosh. Going up for 45 seconds of high knees, starting now. High knees means kick those hands. Not like this, like this. 45 seconds, targeting the abs in a cardiovascular calisthenic positioning. Then we're going back down.
Okay, we got one more move. 45 seconds, flutter kicks look like this. Targeting those lower abs, let's go. 45 seconds. If I can do it, you can do it. No big deal. Woo, feeling those lower abs. Oh, baby. They have five studios. Oh, and Rose Yogan's too. Yeah. Five. That's incredible. I'm just hearing your, I'm hearing your stuff like 20 seconds behind. Oh, sorry. Probably a bit more than 20 seconds. Focus on your form. Make sure you got your breath. Five seconds. That's all you got. Five seconds. Then we're in our last move, which is a one minute plank hold. You got it. Let's go. One minute plank hold. I told you that. So the plank hold, why you want to add this into your abdominal reps is because it targets the entire abdomen wall and it really tightens up that corset in the underneath layers of your core muscles. Let's go. Don't be back here and do not let your bum be forward, tailbones anchored towards your heels. You're engaging the abs the whole time. Don't drop your head. Focus. Maybe hum a song. Maybe think about some ice cream. <laughs> Focus. Halfway there, no big deal, right? One minute flies by. Then we're into calisthenics, and then we'll hit a home run with the bonus. Oh gosh. 10 seconds. Two, one, you're done. There you go. Okay. 30 seconds away. Grab your towel, mop off. Maybe you want to walk. More skipping? Doubles? Nope. Round, calisthenics. Seven, six rounds of skipping? Calisthenics. Oh. Calisthenics, 45 seconds each. Starting with basic jump jacks to simply get the heart rate back up. It's not like this, it's like this. Let's go. 45 seconds on the clock. Clock is on. Jump jacks. Oh, uh, Yashika says nice. Nice. Well, thank you. Let's go. Let's go, people. Speed it up. It's for your benefit and mine. Let's work it out. Sweat out. Whatever you're gonna sweat out. Get that icky stuff out of there. Thank Mental, you. physical, whatever. Thank Get you, it. Number three, Michelle, Jeanette, Soren, MK Shrama, Krishna. Engage the core. Nina, Emma. And pause. And let's go for jump squats. And go. No. Nope. Nope. Your hair. Look no, that. baby. It's just Your hair is getting so long. It's just hair. Remember, it's not about working out, it's not getting pretty. Or not looking pretty while you're doing it. Alan, thank you for uh, following. Trina, the so we're getting results. Thank you very much for following the game. Push your butt all the way back. Almost there, people. Five seconds. Speed it up. Let's go. Okay. Push ups. 45 seconds. Oh my gosh. Let's go. 45 seconds. When you're doing your push ups, I'm not the queen of this either. I have to work at it. Oh, I my breath. You wanna come down and then protract your upper back through your scapula. Come down, everything in the same plane. Protract. So you're forcefully humping your back? Like yes, you back protract, you push Ooh. the earth away. Come down in a line, push. Really helps promote shoulder development. I wouldn't do that too much. I'm not doing it too much. 45 seconds. Whatever you got, 45 seconds. Okay, I'm gonna catch my breath. Then we got curtsy lunge with a side. Um, lunge. So curtsy lunge, side lunge, curtsy lunge, side lunge. 45 seconds on each leg. Let's go. 
So it's side lunge, twist, curtsy lunge, twist, twist. Mindful target the abs while you're in it to win it. It's like a curtsy. Well, it's a, it's a triple decker because you get the abs, the side of the thighs, the glutes, the outer thighs. Curtsy lunge is really beneficial to get the old, the old cellulite upper thigh. I'm gonna target it, right? Shrink the fat cells, tone up the good cells. <laughs> Last one. Switch side, set it up. Lunge, twist, curtsy. Notice how I push my hips back, come upright, stay upright, and curtsy, right? It's all about presentation. Or you can target the muscle groups and not waste time while you're doing it. I can't believe you said today's workout was so rad. It is rad. <laughs> okay. So we got push beyond two more calisthenic moves. Then we got the bonus. So push ups, elbow to knee. Oh, push up. 45 seconds. Plus. So push up, elbow to knee. Come up, protract, elbow to knee. Protract, elbow to knee. What kind of move is that called? Some kind of uh, look like a, a soldier in a boot camp. Whatever it is, beneficial. Oh, keep going, people. Oh, push ups are pitiful. Oh, okay, mop off. You did a lot of work this week, though. You must be pretty tired. No, minute to win it, honey. In it to win it. Okay, so we got the last calisthenic move, which is a 90 second wall sit, alternating leg lift. Okay. What did she say? Okay. So. Wall sit. Get ready, get your back against the wall. Have a sip of water. Okay. 90 degrees. My head. Oh, where are you over there? <laughs> Obviously, he wasn't on the program. I'm actually gonna get rid of this because I don't want to slide out on my butt. Okay. okay. Get down 90 degrees. I'm gonna set the timer 90 seconds. Then you do this alternate leg kick. As many as you want. during the 90 seconds, okay? Okay, this is good. Push your triceps against the wall and come at elbow, off your elbows. I'm a monster. I don't know why I put this in. Thank you, Richard. Hey, Richard. And Amy. Hey, Amy. Good following. Thank you for following. Hit that like button, friends. <sighs> when they hit the like button, it, it follows your... That's cool. Thank you. It does it auto. <sighs> Watch me suffer. <laughs> the pain. Push your back against the mat, Kimberly. <sighs> Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why. It felt good at the time, right? When I get motivated, I get pumped up, I choreograph. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be rad. Like, what the? Oh, 
cool. Oh man. Okay, take a break. Take a little break. Because technically we're done our workout. Good for you. For uh, blowing out a sweat storm. Now I'm going to show you the bonus. I'd love for you to join in. And each of the moves are just 20 reps. Okay. So, mop off. Thank you, Jeanette. Thank you, Jeanette. Okay, so I'm gonna stand up now. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna grab my uh, handy little table here. So if you're one of those people at home and you got one of those fancy pop-up workout boxes, you know, if you don't have one of the fancy pop-up workout boxes, you know, a side table, works great, um, a chair works great, the edge of your sofa works great, so, you know, be innovative, you don't have to go buy equipment, lots of equipment out there. So, lay up, to get height, it's good to always have height, you can even go a little higher with your leg if you want. I'm gonna start with my non-dominant leg, and this is just gonna be straight up, up and down, but you're driving into the front heel, what that does is this engages and targets the muscle group deeper, more of a, a harder contraction, if you will, okay? So it targets it better when you have the leg elevated because there's more stress on the area, but it's not a bad thing. It's a strength building exercise. And because you're in the fat burning zone already, because you've done the workout, Bring out those bonus moves of areas that you want to target. So whether it's arms, abs, again. So I'm going to show you three leg ones. 20 reps on each side. Let's go. and how hard it's targeting, it's great. I only got three bonus moves for you, so I think that that's good. Two, one, switch sides, 20 reps. I know after that wall sit, this is a bit torturous, but whatever, you can do it. We want results. 20, on the right side now. Five more, four, 
You can feel your inner thigh as well. Two. And one. Switch sides. Side lunge to the right with a heel dig. So, one. 20 reps. And more. Three, two, one. Whew. Last move. Inner thighs with a with a fitness band. I'm using a medium level, so medium in resistance. You're gonna lie, you just standing up or on the floor. So I'm gonna show you two ways, but I'm not gonna do 20 reps on each one. I'm just gonna give you a demonstration and then I'll do the reps on the ground. So you can do it like this. I kind of use you hold my arms out and you go. You can do that, 20 reps, or you can come to the ground with me. I go to the ground, I'm gonna lie on the side, okay? Put out the ankles. Oh, doesn't matter if it's twisting. Sometimes these are annoying, but whatever. I find if you have a heavy weighted one, it doesn't twist as much, but I'm doing a medium today, so you got like this, and you're gonna kick out and up. So out and up, 20 reps, let's go fairly quickly. Sides. 20 reps, keep it quick. Working the entire inner thigh, mostly targeting the upper inner thigh, where the gracilis muscle is. That'll tighten up. And up, kick out, up, kick out. Try not slouching in the lower elbow, right? Stay upright. Form. 10 more. Oh. Four round or five rounds of skipping, four rounds, five minutes. Then we did a whole ab category targeting the whole trunk. Then we did a whole calisthenics, um, heart rate lift. We did a whole body workout there. And then we did three bonus moves specific for targeting and toning the legs. And we did some pointers on uh, the effects of skipping. I only gave you five points, so there's plenty more, but it's not just about cardio, it's about um, you know the neural balance of it. there's the cognitive, there's physical. So the mental balance and the physical balance are joining together and um, learning. So thank you so much. Please like, share, subscribe, and follow us. And we'll bring you more content all the time. And tomorrow I'll see you on the mat at 8.30 Pacific Standard Time for a full body release yoga session. I won't tell you what I have in store for you because I want to see you there. You have a wonderful day. Keep living healthy, and I'll see you on the mat tomorrow. And you're gonna be live tomorrow yeah, we live. on Kimberly Beck, Everest Yoga Institute, and on YouTube, hopefully. You Ho got it, friends. Hopefully. That's the goal. Yes. <laughs>